how much does kitchen remodeling cost in San Antonio? We're here at San Antonio downtown at the Pearl and we have a question that we want to answer for everybody How much does kitchen remodeling cost in San Antonio? So dad has the answer Yeah, so we have to qualify that in several several ways Let's start off with what is most common most people are going to spend 50 to a hundred thousand dollars on a kitchen for a luxury kitchen remodel, that's typically going to be in 75 to 100 to 125,000 and up in some cases. So, if you were to say what's an average, probably in San Antonio for a luxury kitchen, it's probably around 80,000 is what we're seeing. Of course, we love the kitchens that are the 150 to 250,000, but it's very common to get a very nice luxury kitchen for high-end kitchen would probably be the better term for it, for in the 70s to 80s and on up to 100. What does that include? Well, that's, that's floor to ceiling. That usually involves moving some walls, creating a brand new layout. New appliances? Uh, appliances could or couldn't fit in there depending on what, which, which budget you're picking. Yeah. You're not gonna get the appliances in there in those lower budgets. But, and we usually don't include appliances in our numbers that we're talking about. We're talking about everything but appliances. So that's a great question. And so you add your appliances to that. So people will spend, you know, from a few thousand to tens of thousands, obviously, sometimes tens of thousands just on one appliance. So we can't really add that in there because that's such a that's huge very variable. personal. Right. So now let's talk about other levels of kitchen remodeling that we do at KM Builders and that are common in San Antonio. So your basic kitchen starts in the 40s or 50s for for a modest home. For a very modest home, you're probably going to be in the 40s or 50s and that gets you all new cabinets, all new countertops, some new flooring, lighting, uh, painting, not, painting, but but not major changes, right? Not really changing the layout too much. Yeah, you're going to get a new layout probably, change a few things, but you're not going to be usually knocking out walls. Uh -huh. For those you're not going to be moving and creating more space maybe a better layout will get you in the 40s and 50s but there's a lot of things you can't have in the and those budgets you can't have really really tall cabinets if you have uh, 10 foot ceilings that's not going to include that that's just one example um, moving multiple sinks is probably not going to include in that and that that either you're going to have to move too much plumbing Major relocations are not going to be included in that, like moving it really, really far away. Yeah. So, also what would be included, we need to talk about is more budget remodeling. So, 30s is gonna get you a very basic, small kitchen. And then if you're in the 20s, it's just a little facelift. 20s to 30s is typically getting into your facelifts where you're painting cabinets, saving, keeping the same layouts, not moving anything, and getting new countertops and so forth. Now we do those also, but they're not very common. And most people see that for one third more, they can have, have something that is all brand new. So that's pretty much where it goes. From the, the facelifts to the 20s and 30s, to the, to the uh, remodels that are simple, not changing location, 40s and 50s. And then of course, getting into your higher end kitchens, are going to get you into your 70s, 80s to 120 is a good range for those. And you're gonna be able to get a lot more of what you dreamed of in those upper end budgets. Hope that helps everybody. Keep asking the questions.